three gold stocks today in video form and the first one is sentiment one of the most followed shares on the stock market um, what is interesting here just from a charting point of view is the way that uh, the price action from for April so far uh, with a gap down through the 200 day moving average at 43 pence is basically the opposite the mirror image of the uh, move in December January where we went up through the 200 day moving average via a gap and peaked out above 65 pence uh, basically the momentum from the gap in January had another 20 pence or so upside um, uh, peaking out in February and I would expect 20 pence uh, to the downside uh, from the uh, gap uh, this month uh, around the 43 pence level, which takes us down towards 20 pence, as uh, suggested by the the arrow and the floor of the falling November price channel. Uh, so a very negative uh, look here. Uh, not surprising, really, after the triple top above 60 pence, and also not surprising given, obviously, the falling gold that we've seen. Um, Obviously, there are people long of the stock and wishing for it to go up. It was a bit of a bounce on uh, Friday um, with uh, M&A speculation in the mining sector. Uh, but really, in order to cancel the idea of a downside towards 20 pence, we need to see the 200-day moving average recovered at 43 pence and the gap filled up to that level as well. So at the moment, we're about four or five pence away. Uh, from any t possible turnaround in the stock and um, really the only plus point here is if you've got a bit of uh, bullish divergence in the RSI window which might hold up or at least delay the downside but really below 43 pence uh, we're going to the low 20s. Moving on to another gold stock and we've got Medusa Mining and uh, I think that if you're interested in uh, in bottom fishing, uh, the, the sector, uh, this this part of the mining area, uh, Medusa may be uh, the stock for you. Uh, obviously, a high octane uh, situation. Even at the best of times, the shares do fly about all over the place, and we've seen this just now um, over the last three sessions, where the shares gapped down uh, through through to 200 pence and then gapped up again, uh, back up to two pounds 17. Um, there is a line of RSI support here um, around the uh, 25-30 level, the oversold area, and Thursday's candle uh, is, is so-called abandoned baby and is a very bullish uh, signal indeed. Uh, the top of the gap, uh, uh, the gap, sorry, the gap floor here is at two pounds five pence, and really while that is held, uh, we would expect a further upside here, possibly towards two pounds fifty. Uh, £2.60, uh, tying in with the uh, former February-March uh, support for the shares. So uh, really risking about 12 to, uh, to 15 pence uh, to make 30 or 40 pence uh, may be uh, attractive to some. Finally, on to stock uh, Vatakula Gold Mines. Uh, where it may be uh, tempting to bottom fish uh, the shares, but at the moment, really, uh, we seem to be in something of a persistent uh, nosedive, and uh, really there's been no uh, bounce at all here. Um, what you can see on Friday was a so-called gravestone joji uh, candle, very, very negative, and that follows on from Thursday's unfilled gap to the downside. So really, um, even though the shares are very oversold, uh, RSI 16 is... is eye-wateringly oversold uh, it's a bit too early here and we could uh, to, to, to go long and uh, we could see further weakness towards five pence or below uh, possibly if you're really keen around the f from five pence you could start averaging into the into the stock but really uh, this is the ultimate in falling knives so uh, avoid for now